Christmas is upon us and temperatures have been dropping everywhere. Even here in LA, the mercury is all the way down to... Yeah, never mind. But I'll tell you one place that is cold, Scotland. 36 degrees in Edinburgh right now. Yeah, that's more like it. And if there's one thing Scots know as well as anyone, it's that nothing makes cold weather a little more bearable than a hot drink. Enter Blackwood's Hot Whiskey Punch. Blackwood's was a journal that ran from 1817 to 1980 that contained, among other things, the Noctus Ambrosianae, or Ambrosian Nights, a series of lightly fictionalized dialogues between various Scottish intellectuals discussing the issues of the day. They always met at Ambrose's Tavern in Edinburgh, and they always drank Hot Whiskey Punch. This is the recipe. The mystery of making whiskey punch comes with practice. The sugar should be first dissolved in a small quantity of water, which must be what the Irish call screeching hot. Next throw in the whiskey. Then add a thin shaving of fresh lemon peel. Then add the rest of the water so that the spirits will be a third of the mixture. Lastly, drink. Lemon juice is deleterious and should be eschewed. So the big thing that jumps out to me about this recipe is that it's maddeningly vague. We're told the ingredients, sugar, water, lemon, peel, and whiskey, but the only proportion we're given is that the spirit will make up a third of the mixture, which would make this a pretty weak drink, so out of the gate I'm docking the water. And it mentions lemon peel, so I'll be making an oleosaccharum even though it doesn't explicitly say to. But how much of everything? And no lemon juice? This is the perfect opportunity to stand on the shoulders of giants, so for measurements and preparation, I'll be deferring to those prescribed by Dave Wondrich, the author of this book. For the whiskey, I'll be using Singleton 12, a tasty single malt from the Speyside region. Prank, the bar I'm currently furloughed from, was kind enough to give me this bottle. Guys, thank you. I love you back. Singleton is great, but you can use any scotch for this, as long as it's single malt and preferably young. This is also great with Irish whiskey, just make sure it's pot still, and yes, you can use cask strength, provided you use more water. Here's how you make this. Peel one lemon into a heat-proof bowl that holds at least two quarts and cover with two ounces of demerara sugar. Give it a light muddle, cover, and let sit for one to three hours. The longer, the better. Once your oleosaccharum is sufficiently fragrant, add about one cup of boiling water. It doesn't have to be exact. This is more to heat up the bowl and dissolve the sugar. And once it has, you can discard the peel. Add an entire bottle of Scotch or Irish whiskey of your choosing and finish by adding four more cups of boiling water. Taste, and if you feel the need, add more. Pro tip, preheat your mug with boiling water. This is so comforting, I almost wish it were colder here. The water and the heat do a great job of expanding the honey and heather notes in the scotch, and there's just the hint of lemon and sweetness that really take this to the next level. Yeah, this is real good. I forgot about this until recently, but shortly after the lockdown started, I did a video about this recipe that's kind of same but different. If you're interested, you can check it out here. Also, keeping this hot is key. In the past, I've used a hot pot, induction burner, and a crock pot, and they all work great. Just start at the lowest setting and adjust upward. And there's no way I'm finishing this myself. Isaac. Yeah. All right, what do you got for me, Zach? You want to tell me what I'm supposed to do? Mmm, it smells delicious. Okay. Wow, I like it a lot. It's really good. It tastes like tea. Let me take some more here. But which is booze on the back end. I can totally get the booze, obviously, which is good. It's milder than I thought it would be. It's good though. It smells like it's more powerful than it is. It's nice and smooth going down. It's a perfect like holiday drink. A little spicy. I can taste that I'm drinking booze. Should I be looking at this or that way? Anyway? I want to take this with me and go for a walk in the woods. I feel like I would be protected. I don't know if it's a false sense of security. I want it with me. Keeps my fingers warm. Keeps my insides warm. What's this called? Is there a name for it? So tell me what's in this. Blackwood's Hot Whiskey Punch and it's from Scotland from 1854. Scotch, a little bit of sugar, lemon peel, and hot water. Okay, so basically a hot toddy. Tastes good for its age. I don't think I would add a single thing to this. It's like perfect. <laughs> I mean, I can keep drinking it. Am I done? Or do you want more? If you want to be done, you can be done. Okay. Can I be in the next video too? If you liked it, hit like. <laughs> if you like this video, not only should you make the drink, but you should hit like. Please consider subscribing and click the button down below. If you don't like it, just move along. Cheers, happy holidays, and stay safe. Have a holly jolly Christmas drink punch. Go Bears. <laughs> <laughs>